Hey, what's up guys? Hey, coming back at you with another video here. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit today about injury proneness, which is sort of the third of the trifecta of things that I try to stay away from, right? So when we're looking for players, we don't want players who are inconsistent because if they're inconsistent, you don't know what you're getting uh, on any game, any uh, day of the week. We don't want to have players who uh, do not like big matches because we're going to play a lot of big matches and we don't know what a big match is. When do I play him? When do I not play him? I mean, who knows? The game doesn't tell you. It doesn't say this is a big match. This is a small match. The guy's not going to tell you. You can't go ask him because, you know, the system doesn't quite work that well. Wouldn't it be great if you could be like, hey, are you going to show up today or not? Do I start you or do I kick you off? No, don't do any of that. Just sell the guy. We don't need that player. And the third thing is injury proneness, right? If a guy is coming up on the scouting report and the scout is telling you that this guy has a problem with injuries, don't sign him. Don't do what I did, right? So we're going to look here at Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il is one of the few players we have left who has this uh, might have a problem or a fairly susceptible to injuries thing. Might have a problem with injuries, very susceptible to injuries, and so on and so forth is not what you want to see. Now, I don't know. When you look at this, he doesn't show any past injuries at all. I don't know where that injury susceptibility comes from. He's North Korean, right? 28, uh, 28 years old. Who knows what it is? Maybe there's some secret injury we don't know about and his handlers are not letting me know or whatever. I mean, I don't know. So when I go take a look at, like, this guy's form and stuff, we're not going to see anything necessarily connected with injury. If we look at his uh, development and his progress as a player, again, we're in hardcore mode, so we don't see any star ratings. We're not going to really be able to see much. But I'm going to tell you that injuries hurt, and the game has enough injuries as it is. What really will kill your player, especially if he's young, is that proneness to injury. So we'll look at this guy, Yen Kun. Yen Kun's a player that, if you remember, we bought from Jiangsu FC like right after we beat them or something like that. We bought like two or three of their best players. It was pretty cool at the beginning of the season. He cost us $4 million. Now, he does not have proneness to injury, but he was out for a while with a major injury, torn knee ligaments, which happened in training. This is while he was still on the under-21s. I've moved Yen Kun up now to the main squad, and the reason why is because he was progressing so well, I thought, we got to try this guy out. You know, this guy's amazing. But the problem that you see comes with the progress, right? Look at this. We have amazing, amazing progress that moves up, and boom, right around here is where he gets injured. And uh, once you're injured, you're not training, you're not playing in matches, and so you start to um, get a little bit worse, and uh, things are just a little bit not quite where you want them to be. Now, I mean, he's still good. He's only 20 years old, still has some room to grow. We go look at the coach report. I mean, he's good enough to play for this uh, level. He uh, is a professional individual, which is what we want. We're probably going to have him in the back replacing uh, our man uh, Ye Jie, who um, is about to be loaned out to North Korea. So uh, you know how I am. I have my North Korean um, uh, connections to uh, worry about. But uh, I would have been much more happy if this guy didn't get injured, right? Especially when it comes to young players, you got to watch out for that susceptibility to injury. Nothing is worse for a young player than to be injured and have a major, major injury. Here's another guy. This is Ju Bin. Last I saw, he was 15. He's 16 now. This guy is uh, homegrown from Jammu Si up in the Heilongjiang province. Um, and he was also recently injured. It looks like he's had a couple of injuries, right? He was out for five weeks with a knee tendonitis, had a tight hamstring for a couple of days, and then um, had, uh, it looks like a twisted ankle and was out for three more weeks. It might show up that this guy does have a problem with injuries. I don't know. Now we can see though in his training processes, progress is, yeah, the very beginning, he was having a hard time making any progress because of those injuries. He's been able to turn it around though now. And the reason why I have him on the first team is because he keeps moving up and up and up on that graph. And you can see he's already a second division North standard player and could improve a lot. Tell you how he can improve a lot by playing games. But you know what the problem is? Problem is I can't play him if he's injured, right? How am I going to play him if he's got this, you know, red thing next to him and it's like, oh, this guy's injured. If he's got one of these things and he's not even match fit and doesn't have any way of getting in and he's uh, got condition that's really small or really low, doesn't have much of a heart or anything like that. That's the problem. That's why you stay away from the guys who are injury prone. You've got to stay away from them. Anything you can do to try to get those injuries down, you got to go for it. Because otherwise, you're going to run into guys who are going to be injured all the time, and you're going to go nuts, and you're going to go onto the comments on my video, and you're going to complain about it. You're going to go onto Reddit and post about it, and I got to answer your question. You're going to go onto Twitter and make some big threat about it, and I've got to look at that. Or you're going to go onto the main um, sports interactive message boards, and you'll complain about injuries and all this stuff, right? That's the way that it happens. So, the best way to handle this, the best way to make sure that you don't have a squad of injured players is don't 
sign players who are prone to injury. If you have players who are prone to injury, even if they're young, sell them, get rid of them, end the contract. You don't want this guy around. He's not going to develop the way that you think. That's my take on it, at least. You got a different take? Let me know in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.